This qualifying recap brought to you by Philips Connect, technology that moves us forward. Sixty-seven. There it is. Hey, Indy. How about three hundred thirty-five miles an hour? The fastest speed ever run at this racetrack. Three point six seven one. Three hundred thirty-five point three two. And that is getting it. All in all, it was actually a great day. Obviously, we didn't accomplish what we wanted to. We wanted to win that shootout, and we wanted to win it bad. But we really went up there with a the plan, and we executed on that plan. I think. You just got to tip your tip your cap over to Steve and his team. They did a great job, and they deserve to win that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, to go out there at night and run a 367 like that at 335 miles per hour, that's the type of run where, you know, you really feel it in the clutch. And as you turn the corner, you're excited to see the time slip. You know it's going to come up with something fast, something good. So just a great job for our folks connect team all day, really all weekend so far. All right, we are joined in the media center here at the Dodge Power Brokers NHRA U.S. Nationals with the Funny car provisional number one qualifier, Robert Height, who, whose run of 3.870 at 331 from Friday held up uh, today. But uh, I think the big news, Robert, uh, today is, is your call-out selection uh, of, of Mr. Tasca. Obviously, two great runs for you guys today, adds to your confidence. But uh, talk about kind of your uh, decision-making to, to go out there and, and call out Bob today. First off, I want to talk about the, the day, okay? It was, uh, you know, it's three runs in a row that the Auto Club Chevys uh, made very respectable runs, and that's what you got to do to win races. Whether it's a call-out race or the race on Monday, you've got to be consistent. So hats off to the team. We were hoping for more tonight. Uh, we were really trying to run better than our 87 that we ran last night and honestly thought we were going to have to. Thought that uh, a lot of other cars would step up and, and knock that 87 down. Conditions are pretty good out there. I'm amazed that nobody got it. So um, it just we're in a good place, okay, going into race day for the call out. Excited about that. But the decision process was – you know, uh, there's no guarantees after first round that you're going to have lane choice. And historically, this can be a one-lane racetrack. So, and then when we actually really thought about it earlier in the week, we were looking at the forecast, and it looked like it was going to be a lot hotter, and that would have played right into our favor, you know, with uh, the right lane being a little tougher. So, uh, but when the, when the forecast changed, we didn't change our mind. Um, you know, we feel that... Uh, you know, we can win or lose first round or the final round against him. So why not get out there and get it over with and uh, have some fun? And you think that Greg Anderson, who has 99 wins, could go to the top right here? I think Christian could. He's only six thou back. Christian's made a couple of good runs as well. He's been better on the day. 59-6. Greg gets the better of it at this end of the racetrack. 656. Oh, that'll have him high five and all the way back to Mooresville. 6.567 at 208.10. Greg Anderson goes to the top. Is that the type of number you were expecting here today? Did, did you think that was there? I don't know about taking? expecting, but wanting, hoping yeah. for, yes. That, that was what the number said between the weather change we had from last night to this afternoon to tonight. The temperature dropped big tonight. It just kept dropping. The longer we went, the deeper in the pack you were, the, better, the more advantage you had. And you saw that as the field went through. They just kept getting a little better, a little better. And, and, and the weather was dropping the whole time. So that was the one that you know we knew coming up here tonight, this is going to be the pole run, without a doubt. And, and uh, just happened with freak weather today, I guess, basically what happened. So I, I seriously doubt we'll get these conditions again. But who knows? Mother Nature could throw us a curveball again tomorrow, and you could get it again so that it, it will not be over. But Definitely better weather conditions than we had either last night or this morning, and uh, we picked the right time to make really a perfect run. It didn't, and there's not very often that a driver says we made a perfect run, but I made a perfect run going down the racetrack. It was uh, everything about it was 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 right on the money. The car was perfect. It seemed like I hit my shift points perfect, and and uh, car stayed perfectly straight. You just don't do that that often. So. And Hillary out here at the racetrack yesterday, kind of meandering around and just kind of catching up with some old friends. For those of you who may not know, I'll wait until after the end. Both of them tearing up the early numbers. Let's see what they do the rest of the way down the racetrack. 679 on Jill. 
199 miles an hour. Angel will take Mission Foods and Vance and Hines to the top. Um, well, I know Eddie had the number one spot, yep. and I managed to take it away from him. When we made the first run, there was definitely more in it, of course. You know, we, we pulled it out the second round. Um, I do believe that there's actually even more in it right now. I didn't do the greatest job on driving that time. Um, one of the things that has been kind of crazy that I want to let you know about is that Andrew has been tuning from home. He, hasn't, he wasn't feeling well this week. He wanted to make sure he was completely healthy before he showed up, hopefully tomorrow. He says he's coming, so <laughs> that's been kind of weird. You know, we've uh, been doing a lot of FaceTime with him, running the computer back and forth to his house for him to do the tune-ups, and it's been amazing that he's doing such a good job not here with us. But for me, it's weird because I like having him next to me. It's uh, pretty crazy how spoiled I've gotten. Last year, he was on a motorcycle, and half the time either behind me in the lanes or at the end of the track already, so I didn't have him on the starting line with me. And in this short period this year, I've already become so accustomed to having him right next to me at all times. And I didn't have that the last two days, so I'm looking forward to having him back tomorrow. And I think that um, with him here, he'll be able to do an even better job if that's possible, and uh, we'll be able to hold on to the number one spot. Four-time champion, the Capco boys on the right. They're going to run tomorrow with a whole lot of Pep Boys money on the line. They're running tonight to send a message. And the message is, Steve Torrance, do not have a 160 light tomorrow. <laughs> 371, 330 miles an hour. Justin Ashley goes to the top. Yeah, it's really important. You always want to come out hot, right? And you always want to go A to B and, and make a good run the first time down the track. But... It is a special weekend for us on and off the racetrack. We announced our Phillips Connect extension, and then to be able to follow that up with a number one qualifier, at least provisionally, uh, is special. We always want to put on a good show when Phillips Connect is here, and some of their clients and customers are here too. So it's nice to be able to go down the racetrack. I mean, I, you know, people are going to go faster than that. I'm sure we got five sessions at it, but uh, you know, really good start for a Phillips Connect team. Two best funny cars for most of the year. Right now, they're both trying to steal it away from the guy that's had the best funny car in the last month and a half. Parachute comes out early for Hagen. Are you kidding me? 387 Robert Height with a zero. Put the Auto Club Chevy number one. Robert's fourth number one this year, 75th number one this year, 75th. In his career, um, in his career, um, obviously Robert had to, obviously Robert had to, to wait out the rain and come to wait out the rain and come back to a fresh back to a, a fresh track. Where, where you guys track? Where, where you guys ready to ready to throw down a number like that? Is that throw down a number like that? Is that kind of what you guys were after? To kind of what you guys were after to close out the day? Yeah, you know, close out the day. Yeah, you know, first off, NHRA did a no. First off, NHRA did an amazing job of uh, getting the amazing job of uh, getting the track dried and in great condition. Track dried and in great condition for us to all go out there and make for us to all go out there and make great runs tonight. But great runs tonight. But uh, the Auto Club Chevy. But uh, the Auto Club Chevy. We made. America's car looked like it pushed a little bit to the left, but she's got a pretty good run going. Finish line 6.598, And by speed, Erica Enders is the number one qualifier. Uh, it's definitely really exciting. You know, we're, we're coming here with two consecutive victories here at the U.S. Nationals last year and the year prior. And then the year prior to that, we were in the finals as well against Alex. So, um, you know, we've had a lot of success here. And I'm definitely looking forward to that trend continuing. Uh, having said that, I know the tough competition that's out there. But... Um, I've got a new motor in my car. We, we ran up to Tulsa to test, and the rigs left from there to come straight here. So um, we saw some, uh, some promising numbers, and we figured we're going to run it here and see what happens. So it's definitely a good start looking at the graph. There's, uh, there's definitely some left in that run, and we'll just hopefully continue the trend forward. But, uh, you know, it'll get hotter and ickier through the weekend. So hopefully it stays, but if not, either way, I've got a great race car to, to run here on Monday. They have worked with just about every manufacturer out there, but they are back with Suzuki now and proud to do so. Building those four valve machines. Stevie J in the left, Eddie K in the right. How about a 6.826? 
198 miles an hour, and Eddie Craywood goes to the top. No, for sure. I was actually number one qualifier in uh, earlier this year in Norwalk, Ohio. So but that's I just figured I'd throw it out there. But uh, I, I stunk up the place that weekend, so let's not talk about it. We're going to forget about that weekend and, and work on Indy. But, uh, yeah, it was good to come off the truck like that, for sure. Um, I, I think the important thing now is uh, I kind of told Natalie driving up here was – now let's go into test mode. Start like starting to learn to know what you need to do, so that way you you know you have a good program rolling into Monday, and you're not questioning yourself, and you know the direction that you need. You know that's one of the fortunate things about this weekend here. We're getting five qualifying runs. Hopefully, if the weather holds out, everything's great, and you get five of them. It's a it's a great opportunity, especially from getting three. Uh, you know, for most of the season, so. Those extra two runs go a long way, allow you to do a lot of things. I'm going to uh, make a couple changes for tomorrow, uh, change some stuff. I'm looking long term, you know, the countdown, it's uh, it's whoever is fast and steady. So for me, it's going to be uh, test mode, get to some different parts, put some different pieces on there, and really just start learning and uh, start focusing on Monday. Competition Plus is your go-to source for the latest in drag racing news. For over 20 years, CompetitionPlus.com has provided news you can trust, thoroughly researched and delivered as quick and fast as it can be uploaded. Whether it's nitro or stock, drag radial or pro modified, our writers are trained to bring you the inside story time and time again. We have it all from in-depth news articles to the latest in high-performance products to the scuttlebutt making its way around the pits. Original video content from the stars in drag racing also makes Compet CompetitionPlus.com, the ultimate one-stop shop for die-hard drag racing fans. Don't make CompetitionPlus.com your only stop on the information superhighway. Make it your first. For news you can trust and have trusted for 20 years, visit CompetitionPlus.com. Be sure to download our mobile app. It's a free download on the Apple Store and Google Play.